Well, I think what I learned from both, because really I think my, I think outwardly I have a lot of my Norwegian grandmother in style and how I relate to people and my, my Dutch grandmother more on staying true to myself. She also married late like I did and she also became a mother late. Um, but I think what I learned from both of them is that you have to be able to endure loneliness mm -hmm. in life because she, and I'm a pioneer and they were pioneers too. My Norwegian grandmother was the youngest of eight and she went to live in Holland, you know, and she married a half Dutch, half Englishman and she lived in Holland and she became a widow very young and she stayed in Holland on her own without any family around her because she said my children are going to have a better childhood here than if I go back to Norway. I think that's brave. Mm -hmm. My other grandmother, she was the first woman to study. Uh, she actually went to the commercial school in Holland. Well, you know, most women, did, you know, this is like in the beginning of the last century. So, but she said, I want to become a businesswoman. And so, you know, I mean, <laughs> I think that's great. Mm -hmm. And so she actually endured also a lot of, you know, uh, people around her who said, oh, well, you should do it like this. And, you know, especially when you're, when you come from a certain background. Mm -hmm. Poland is quite opinionated and you have to be able to endure